But one of the things that we're seeing in so many refrigeration systems today is electronic expansion valves. So these are the upgrade from the TX valve. So now there's different models. You get pulse width modulation, which is an open and close model, open and close, open and close. And you get the stepper model where it'll step up and down. So there's different range. So these are two different types of valves and they work a little bit differently. But the biggest thing is to understand the electronic valves. What do you need? You need a pressure transducer and a temperature probe. You gotta make sure they're reading accurately. So you need your temperature probe and your gauges to verify that. Then they're hooked up to a controller. You need to make sure those controllers are programmed properly. You need to go in and make sure the refrigerant is correct. You've gotta make sure the pressure transducer is set up to the right range. You gotta make sure the temperature probe is the proper temperature probe is NTC, negative temperature coefficient versus a PTC, a positive temperature coefficient, depending on the controller. These valves can be very finicky. So if you're not using inert gas and you're not doing and brazing properly, they can get plugged with contamination and not work. Another thing is, is the transformer. The transformer for these valves need to be sized correctly because if they're not, if they don't have enough volt amps, they don't have enough energy to open and close those valves, they can now run into issues periodically. These are a few tips on electronic expansion valves. I'd love to hear down below in the comments a few more tips for electronic expansion valves. My name is Trevor Matthews from Refrigeration Mentor. Let's get a conversation going.